a Monday morning, like around 4 a.m. And I got a call from his girlfriend's little sister. She calls me and she's like, your brother just, he's just got shot and stabbed and he's laying there. And I, at that moment, I, like, I didn't even know what to do because yeah, I'm in a different place. Like, I can't even like, rush and go and actually try and help him out or whatever. 20 minutes after, I got a call and he, he had been deceased, um, passed away. That was the story of, of him. Look, there are, there are a number of factors that contribute to the murder rate being so high in South Africa. First and foremost, we've got to contextualize the murder rate. So when we step back in time to be able to do that, South Africa comes from a long history of oppression, racism and apartheid. What happened after the 94 democratic election, there was a crisis in current South Africa at that time. And it was basically the political upheaval and that's when the murder rate really peaked. I mean, there's not much to it, you know? Like, I would say that it's because of the high poverty rate in our country and also the high fucking level of inequality, I would say. Yeah, it's the culture, it's accountability, it's, it's a whole range of things that haven't been put on the table per se and have actually been tackled on in a in a more civil manner now people are resorting to um, their own means of of um, of solving their own injustices that they are experiencing day to day I need to know why this is happening at such an alarming rate like I need to go out there and actually find out like why is why are we killing each other so much I need to know what happened to my brother <laughs> 